the sun's shining. We're back. So, we're not at ground level anymore. How about that? We um, haven't done one of these for a bit, so we thought we would come out. That view's nice, Sean. We're going to show them that view shortly. So we, we're out in Brantinghamdale today and it, is, it was supposed to be overcast cloudy. and cloudy. It's but blue sky it's and a lot more, A lot more blue sky than It has been cloudy. sunny all day. It is just a wonderful place to go in lots of times. Have we not, Mrs McKenna? We have been lots of times here, but it's like... It's a real lovely forest walk. Well, you can, it meets the world's way further on. Yeah, over that yeah, direction. You can just meet the world's, the world's way. way. So we thought we'd come out and uh, and have a wonder. You, when you see this, you will have already had a bit of a sing song from uh, our Wend and myself. And after this video, there's another sing song because we we were on a bit of a roll today. So Brantingham, let us tell you where it is. It's in the East Riding of Yorkshire and uh, it's just off over that way is the A63 in the River Humber with Brough over there and Gilberdike in that direction with Sunny Scunny to the side of the water and in this direction is the village of Brantingham. Um, it's famous for its duck pond, isn't it? It's got a lovely duck pond where we've parked up today. But yeah, we thought we'd have a wander out. Um, it's just... Well, we're always wandering out because we don't like to be in, do we, Sean? No, and do you know, we are... It's, it's not the end of January and there are so many spring flowers, flowers coming up. Lots of bulbs popping through the soil. So many. And we've seen... Unbelievable. Seen squirrels. And we saw a great big fox run right in front of and us. It ran across in front of us. So we ran up the hill and watched it dart across the field with its big basil brush tail. It actually isn't that cold. We are warm. No, I've got a jacket on with stewed, but we are. Uh, it's easier to put on than carry, I, I always think, say. What's the date, Sean? About the 25th of January? Uh, yeah, Roughly. something like that. 25th of January and it's just lovely. You could almost think it was March, late March. But it isn't. It's lovely. It's stunning. It's stunning in here. And I don't know about you, but I love shadows from trees with the sun coming through. Look at that. It's just a beautiful place. We're very, very lucky to live where we are. Um, walking through this uh, ivy floor woodland well it's up all, a lot of trees as well so we've not seen you for a bit unless you've watched our car duet in the winter car duet yeah but we're going to be getting out more more and more there are lots of places to see in this wonderful world isn't that right but i'll tell you what we did get and here's a shout out at christmas we got a gift that we've yep. not worn yet. Well, several gifts, but some of the gifts we got, we got two T-shirts from Evie and Joe, and they are, shout out to... Go wild to Abby. Stay wild, yeah. Abby Barnes. Abby Barnes, thank oh, you for Fantastic T-shirts. We so we'll love wear the them. T-shirts. When we'll, it gets a bit warmer, we're going to have those yeah, T-shirts we'll on. Crack them out so and wear them. thank you, Abby Barnes, for those. Because yeah. I know you, you had... There was a little bit of a struggle her getting them. I don't know what happened, but we got but them. But yeah, I think they, they'd run out or they were sh they'd shut yeah. the door on orders, but she managed we, to we get them. We got them. Yeah, for Christmas. I can't and, wait to put them on. And we actually also got a bird caller yep. uh, all the way from Americaville. And that's from Sam and Leslie. And, and I've forgotten it today, but we will get that out and show you. So next time, Sean will have a little robin on his shoulder. <laughs> Because he'll come on, call it come over on. with the bird call. But it's fantastic. Because what happened on the farm, Sean, with the owl? You used it on the farm, didn't you? Well, I didn't use that, but I used a different bird caller. And I was out um, one evening, and it was just dusk. And we have tawny owls on the farm. And I played this, this tawny owl call. And 
two owls flew from a pine tree across to some oaks and then you could see that they were sitting on this branch watching while this this call was playing and then they, they flew back to this pine tree once more and then a few minutes later after calling this tawny owl flew down and parked himself on the fence about three feet away from me and he just turned his head looking at me thinking what's going on here it was absolutely stunning beautiful bird beautiful bird um, we we're lucky enough to have young owlets born when we were out on the farm it was great it was great so nature and wildlife that view down there we have to look lovely. after turn round Sean The sun has literally been out since nine o'clock this morning and it don't want to go and all the birds think oh they're singing away because they think it's in the middle of April I do think you, they think it's spring. Do you know what I love about this well one of the things I love about this place is because there's lots of beech trees you'll get lots of beech leaves so the forest floor here the woodland is just awash with the carpet of beech leaves so uh, <coughs> it's great just love it it's stunning. We, don't, we don't want to go home when it's like stunning. and uh, what's really nice as well through this tunnel bit here is you get the sun dappling okay dappling, dappling. I don't know if that's a proper <laughs> word dappling, dappling. like dapple grey horse but it's just mottled across the, the trunks of the trees, the shadows, as the sun shines through. It's great. It is great. We just love it, don't we, Ben? Eh? We love it. There's so a caravan over there, look, that'll do me. Caravan? I'll just go live in that. Oh, look, a caravan just parked in the Where about is it? Have we got it in shot there? No, it's just here. Mm. Somebody's decided that they're going to just park it there and just live in it oh. when it's sunny. Oh. I would love to live there. Yeah. Get a grip. Living in a caravan yeah, on, well, a, on a hill. Well, I lived in a tent for a year, Sean. When you so didn't live in a tent for a year. Well, a summer. Well, you slept in the tent. About a number of years ago, again, on the farm, one night, it was our wedding anniversary, and, and I decided to do, you know, push the boat out and took Wendy out to a place called the Pipe and Glass. Um, it's very posh, wasn't very, it? very posh, very lovely, great food, fantastic service. Anyway, afterwards, on the way home, I said, "When we're not going to be stopping at home tonight, we're going away." Oh, she got all excited. She just couldn't contain the excitement. But anyway, I'd pre-arranged things, so I drove into the farmyard, through the gate, and up we call up what we call the Green Mile, to the top of the farm, and I had pitched at the top of the farm. A little two-man tent. Mm. Hey! The trouble was, the airbed was as high as the roof. I'd bought a, an airbed off the internet, and the airbed basically filled the tent. There so was only room for one. <laughs> it was tiny, so we squished our way in there. We got, I had the tunes already, and the girls had made a tangerine cheesecake, and we had some bottles of schlur. Because we're not, we're not big drinkers. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, we're not doing this at all. It didn't work out though, because Sean got back in. He couldn't get in the tent because the airbed was right up to the top. There wasn't the enough room. flaming oxygen, so I stayed the <laughs> night, I have to say. But then for weeks afterwards, our lass get out. camped out in this tent every night. Wouldn't get out. Just I tried to scare her. He tried, but it, it didn't work. I she wasn't scared. bothered. Not so scared, not bothered. I was in Mr. King size all on my own. For too long yeah just thought i'd do yes. a tent experience for a few years so you don't need to spend lots of money do you to have a good time you're just uh, a bit of thinking a bit of planning that's what i say yeah. so hey my watch is buzzing we've done thirteen thousand steps beautiful Yay. hey whoa um but well, you did do two miles before i yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so you've done i haven't done thirteen. Yeah, but you're getting up there. Don't worry. Maybe it's fine. Because we're, we're on a health kick at the moment. We're trying to lose weight. White trying feather, to get fit. Sean, white feather. White feather. Oh, look at that. So we're trying to get healthy and slim for summer. Slim for summer, everyone. Yes. Healthy eating. 
Yeah, we have portion been, sizes um, actually, and control. We've not broken this healthy eating for the past ten days, have we? So we, this is longer than we've ever done. Oh. Like, in like you've seen in the previous We've video. Only bread once Salad. in ten days. One lot of Ooh. bread. Today. Bread's calling me. Oh yeah, but I'm over the craving now. But the other day, I really wanted to eat a packet of cheese and onion. I didn't. I, I like. I went like this, and no, no, walk away, walk away, and I didn't. But I will as a treat in a couple of weeks, but not now. I want to be healthy. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we do. The sun shone here. I mean, it's so warm. Yeah, it is I mean, a lovely place. It's really boiled. Lovely place. If you've not been to Brantingham or Brantingham Dale, it makes get you yourselves good. there. You'll feel good. You'll feel better. You'll see lots of wild. But even if you can't get to Brantingham, get out into the country. Yeah. We were listening to buzzards earlier, circling above the treetops. Yeah, they lots of birds. With a we always see really them. recognisable call. Sean's a bit of a bird man though. He likes birds. I like birds. He likes to bird spot, don't you? Bird yeah? spot, yeah. Not in a geeky way. No, well, no I'm not saying not it is geeky. No, but, but, but I don't go like over the top. To spot the birds. Yeah. Uh, the feathered ones, I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely bad. Yeah. <coughs> so here we go. This is the cross for Right. We're going to be going through the gate and uh, here. <laughs> so you can go that way, can't you? Yeah, because this you can go in a, in a like about nine mile loop from the village. Is it one mile to Brantingham, it doesn't seem like two minutes to get to here. No, but because it's up a very steep hill. So you go around oh. in a loop, up a hill, and there's a there's one bench at the top of a hill over there, grassy hill, with a fantastic view. But you need to uh, be careful, because um, yeah. invariably you get there and somebody's parked themselves on it, and you've planned planned to sit there to have your lunch. Yeah. Um, we already pre-thought about that. Yeah, yeah. We had our lunch elsewhere today. In the car, though. Yeah, in the car. Because we are still super scrimping. Yeah, yeah. This is Wendy. Wendy's year for super scrimping. And so it has to. I didn't buy ready prepared fruit. No. She's trying Don't, to be very that's frugal. That's my tip for the day. Don't buy those little bits of fruit in a pot. They're about three pound. Just go to where the fruit is. Get a banana. And get a piece of fruit. An apple, or an orange. The, you know, the other A peach, bit. a plum. Don't be tempted. Nectarine, a satsuma, with a tangerine. The expensive potted yeah. fruit. That's There's the a way tip, to do it. super scrimper tip. Yeah. So, what else can we tell you today? There's a helicopter. Yeah, there's a, yeah it's a helicopter flying Are over. Are we actually going the right way? Yeah, we take yeah. a left any second now. Sometimes we have been known to talk and carry on and end up going the wrong direction. The wrong direction. You can see up the hill there. Can you see up the hill? There's some blue pots up there. Um, and that's because it's feeding pheasants. They're feeding the pheasants, looking after the pheasant population. And this, this route that we're on... Oh, it's <coughs> the Beverly Twenty. It's part of the Whoa. Beverly Twenty, you see. This is a real bonus on the Beverly Twenty. I've done parts of it before, but not the full one. I've done about 18 miles of it, but it didn't include this bit. Right, it might be out of the... So... We won't get to, uh, I don't want to make this too long because we won't get to the place that will get you a picture. But uh, if we you can put the picture on, no, yeah, well, I'll take a picture. Shop. There's a fantastic view across the the, the, uh, the Humber, yeah. Um, and I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it on. If you have a look at the round, round the bend with Sean and Wend Facebook page, round the bend with Sean and Wend. Instagram page 
or you like and share subscribe subscribe on youtube but i'll put that a picture on the view that there is up up here um then come and enjoy yourself yeah and make the most get out into the countryside and make the most of the beautiful world we live in yeah. good day to all see yes bye bye <laughs>